they can't break that glass ceiling mm-hmm. some of the time, but they still had PR wins and stuff like that. But oh, yeah. with the Xenio regulars, like numbers, Dill, Vivi, Fawn, me, like, yeah, <laughs> I, we, we said numbers. Oh, me again. <laughs> yeah. This numbers. is arguably harder than like a Xeno just because you c- the seating is random, first of all. Yeah, random uh, seating. And you are going to get a lot of players that are close to your skill level. So you're going to probably play them a lot differently than you would play. Like, if you play John Numbers or, or uh, Fawn, you'll be expecting, okay, this is a good player. Yep. In this bracket, you're playing Joe Schmo, bro. You exactly. Don't know, you don't know, know who who's good. Is. You don't know who the ops are. Of the course. The ops are hidden. Everyone's an op now. That's how you got to have the mindset. But right now, Mal Silver, I was playing friendlies with them earlier, and we went back and forth for a good amount of time. So just shows, like, the skill gap in these Arcadians Makes it so you don't know who's gonna win. For real, I I do like that. Oh, I'm base is correct. More top Sorry tiers. to interrupt. Base is correct. Um, well, uh, for the players. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay. Yes. I'm sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Keep going. Um, yeah, it's it's. I'm really fresh to see lots of like players picking top tiers. Finally, I mean, it's it's really funny because some of the best players in New York are like. They play characters that aren't considered the best on paper. Yes. Some of, them, some of them do, to be fair. A lot of them do, actually. But it, it's nice to see the mid-level, really, because there was so many good... I don't think I, I played against a single bad character today, aside from maybe, like, a Richter. Like, mm. everyone in this bracket is, is making good long-term investments for their future. Absolutely. Hey, as a former low-tier main, it is very, very satisfying to finally break those shackles yeah. up. <laughs> I'm free! It's please. just like, Guys, yes! Please. I don't have to play a bad character anymore! Please just let me play Wii Fit right now. <laughs> For the love of God. Alright, though. I haven't heard of either of these two players, but then winner semis, so they, they slayed all their ops. Absolutely. They, there's no one left in the way but each other, and then one more is one step closer to winning the entire bracket. Oh, Pretty yeah. neck and neck as, as Oh, yeah. This is, this is right a now. very, very exciting game right now. You know what? I love the matches between, like, the mid-level players more than I do, like, saying, like... They're closer. Exactly. They're closer. We love to see them flubbing game three last hit yeah. situations. <laughs> Dude, even, even even I had to step out of the building. The nerves. I was like, damn, I haven't felt nervous at a bracket nah, me in too. forever, bro. Like, it's crazy. That being said, though, June trying desperately to get away from the ledge trapping monster that is Pyra. I mean, there's just so many. You can literally cover, like, every option with the correct timing. Yep. You have to be really patient on the ledge against Pyra Mithra, especially Pyra, because that you saw how much range that up to. Oh, yep. my God, oh. is that it? No! Oh, no! That's tough. Didn't get the spike hitbox, or at least the percentage was too low. Hey, it's me! <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, quick this question. Is, is this best of five, or...? Uh, this is a good question. The... Oh, that's true. This is a this is top eight. This is a quarterly, so yeah. this is not this is not abide by the regular yes, Zeno rules. We still don't know if semis are. Hmm. You know, we got a TO in the building. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we might need a TO. A TO um, nah, we'll just find, we'll let it be a surprise. We'll assume that the players know. Well, let, so what <laughs> happened here exactly? So let's see. A big so dash attack. Got goes for a side B. Doesn't have a jump. Oh, I guess did the double jump get clipped. I think it might have. Yeah. Have. You really have to be careful with your jumps off stage against uh, Mithra, just because she is a character that can do a runoff fair. Like she can run off edge guard you a lot of times, yep. so you have to save that double jump. I also think like I, I think June was also within uh, nah, not within no, up distance, yeah, but nah. the jump definitely got clipped or it had some to. mashing occurred. And yeah. That's, that, that's just how the cookie crumbles, man. A lot of these mid-level players will have these very knee-jerk reactions to situations they're getting placed in. Oh, yeah. And, uh, and uh, okay, I'm going to make it back to stage. It's going to turn into an, oh, shit, I'm not making it back to stage. <laughs> yep. Alrighty. But it is, I feel like it's a more exciting game when it's like this. Instead of watching, say, like... Wow, the at Zeno, me next time. The, the Zeno regulars, <laughs> hold on. He already knew, bro. The Zeno he regulars, knew. hold on. John numbers with a hard read out of here, bro. Chill, 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 chill. <laughs> the Zeno regulars playing the more uh, slower-paced characters. We fit slow-paced. At times. <laughs> anyway, uh, Mouse Silver's doing a real oh, and the I, I dash love that. attack. That's great. Yeah, I love that swap right there. That was perfect because June has been playing has been kind of drifting in very close to the ledge a little bit lazily. And yep. Mal Silver definitely picked up on that with that dash attack yeah. for sure. Because the, the entire time Mal Silver's been doing runoff fair, but June has been like hanging so close to the ledge to try and get these uppies. I think what one thing June could probably do is you can go a little lower with uppy. There's like You definitely can, yeah. It has like a good amount of distance on it, but ends up getting clipped right there and 
That's how he loses first stock. Even even being slightly above the ledge is a danger zone in this game. Absolutely. You know? you, you, no matter how good you think your character is or how fast their aerial drift is in Wolf's case, you still have to respect how much range Pyro and Mithra have at their disposal. Absolutely. Oh, and they can good. absolutely hit ledge or a little bit above the ledge very, very easily. All right, big up air coming out on yep. town of all maps. Okay. Uh, all, I'm saying maps, bro. Ba Valorant has rotted my brain. I'm sorry, chat. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got, I'm got. i calling these stages maps now, bro. <laughs> I thought maps so were definitely having the upper hand. But we're getting a little crispy 30 coming out of June right here. We, wolf players live for the crispy 30s, I feel. Oh, like. yeah, of course. They live for those. They're like, ooh, you saw, you saw those aerials I hit? There you go, yeah. Forward air, forward air, up air. That, that's just like... Love it. Chef's kiss. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I really, really love how grounded Mao is playing right now. A lot of, pretty much the main weakness of Mithra is in the air, she can get called out because of how yes. fast she is. Uh, but if you're staying grounded with that dash speed, it leaves everything so ambiguous. Yep. No stock. way that takes the stock. It's not taking the stock. <laughs> I feel like that might have been a misinput. That what? was not. That's why I think they were trying to go for before. I love hitboxes. You saw how Wolf was yeah. completely behind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that shit scoops. All right, June. Up smash. June tried to see. play very out of shield oriented against this Mithra, but Mao is ready for it every time. Like, oh, you, can't, yeah. you can't really out of shield Mithra unless her spacing is like abysmal. Nah. I want to see June start picking some mid range and start shooting the gun a little bit more. The gun is so good for disrupting tempo. Definitely, but he's got to get back on stage first. Yeah, we're getting smothered right now. Foresight, yep. Foresight coming in. Ooh. Just Sweeps. it's crazy because like That's you think it. running. You think running up to someone and dash attacking would be like a pretty reactable and punishable option, yeah, right? Yeah. Not on, not not on, on Mithra. Mithra. Not on Mithra. Hell no. She goes through you. It's so yeah. weird. Like they they made it so you can't run through your opponents, but you can dash attack through them with oh, yeah. the Z axis or some some other. It's like just how like good. cross ups work in general. But, like there's a lot of dash attacks that cross up in this game. Oh no. Oh my oh, god. Oh my god. Yeah, we <laughs> love it. Fuck it. We ball. Hit it again. <laughs> Another smash attack. <laughs> Sometimes, like, out of shield, that's pretty good for opponents that want to jump over you out of yep. shield, but Mao has not been jumping out of shield a lot of times, so June, June has to pick the option better. The big up air coming through. I, I guess they this are. is a best, it's a best of five. It's best of five. Okay, good, good to know now. This power of the ages. And are we going to get a 3-0 and a handshake, or are we going to get a reverse 3-0? With the way June was kind of reacting to a lot of the disadvantage, it's it's leaning definitely towards a 30 and a handshake for sure. Yeah. Uh, 30 piece, no sauce. It's just, I just that I think Mao is fully caught on to how linear June has been playing. Yep. And Mao has done an excellent job at adapting to it. Mm. Looking very good out there for sure. Yeah, I mean, with solid gameplay, you can make it very far, you know, in this bracket. New York. Absolutely. I don't know how New York's mid. Yeah. Yeah, wait, wait. Is what, it the leg? The it's hell? the leg. It's the stanky leg. The stanky leg got wait, Wolf hold up. killed. I heard a switch. I heard a switch. We're going Mario. Okay, we're going for with game the Italian. Three. That mo movie's out. Movie's out. Yes, movie was fire. I've heard it's gas. I, it's I definitely so need to watch. Good. You, de you gotta, you gotta watch that. Bro. I, you know what tipped me off that the movie was gonna be gas? I saw that Cole Bennett, the guy who like directs rap Yo, music videos. Cole Bennett. He made a music. He made a you know the Peaches song that yes. Bowser sings. Yes. He made a music video for Jack Black singing that song. Oh my god! So that's see, I, I got whiplash, bro. I was like, this is the guy that that made like stuff for like Kanye and Lyrical like, Lemonade. Yeah, literally, this is Lyrical Lemonade. And you're working with Jack Black for a Mario movie song. Oh I, my I was god! Like, what the hell, bro? Seth Rogen as DK in that movie. What? That was actually the most perfect casting I've seen in a movie. I'm not gonna cap. I feel like this counter pick is a little desperation based rather it 100 than comfort is. based. We did go to Battlefield, which I think is a great pick for Mario. I mean, we've seen what Mario's like hold drama on, can do on. here. This like that, is you can do that. This yeah. is on paper a very hard matchup for Mario. He, he yeah. can struggle yeah. against sword characters, and this is a fast this sword, is the character. sword character. Exactly. Oh this my song. God, that yeah, killed, that killed yep. Jesus oh Christ. Yeah, I can definitely see this being difficult for Mario, but I can I can see Mario cheesing some stocks, but. Mouse over, not really giving much to June off stage. The advantage definitely gets better for June. The combos are definitely like a little bit more gimme than for Wolf. Yeah. The problem, I don't think the problem June had though was getting the damage. It was finishing the stocks. Exactly. I feel like June was not able to find their win condition, where Mao was very acutely aware of the win condition because they were staying grounded, waiting for June to be above them, and just up airing them. Yep. So I, I feel like June needs to. 
It's, it's tough though, because Mario loves jumping, bro. Exactly. He loves jumping. He's called Jumpman. He's Jumpman. Jumpman, 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 Jumpman. My boy's up to something. <laughs> Like, I'm not seeing any out of shield up smashes on the ground. I'm, all right, big dash okay. tag. That's good. We see the flood. Flood is good. A little too early, though. Yeah. A little too early. It can be tricky to get that timing, though. Yeah. Because we're not we're not seeing Mithra at her most vulnerable doing uh, a... What's that? I forgot the name oh, of the side B, bro. <laughs> I forgot oh. the name of the side B. Um... <laughs> Why did I forget the name of the I side B? I forgot the name of the side B. <laughs> toast on eggs. Toast, toast on eggs. Beans on toast. Toast on edge. <laughs> I thought finally a first stock coming out of June, but this is looking mighty scary. Oh, that's a, that's a stock and a yep. half. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is looking like a 30 piece, no biscuit. Mm -hmm. No Bev. No Could Bev? That's crazy. Thank you to Dara for Thanks the sub. Thanks for the sub, Dara. Also, Let's Dara, go, Dara, where are you? You were supposed to be here. We were supposed to cast together. That is. Where the heck is Dara? All right, big hamburger helper coming out of June right there. <laughs> I just, we need to see a combo starter come out here. The problem is Mao, again. Just not, playing the advantage state so well right he's now. He's playing the second beat. He's he's swinging second, or he's swinging in a spot where June is in the danger zone. And June is not, like with most, most Marios like to keep their movement a little bit more ambiguous. I feel like June is playing right into Mao's hands. Yep. This is tough though, knocking on death's door. You got Pyro with that boomstick loaded up, man. It's, it's not oh, yeah. gonna be good. Even when Mao is in disadvantage, like he's still playing it really well. Like not panic air dodging, yeah, not real. really doing too many like crazy panic options. That is a thirty piece. June definitely getting a little bit better player right there. I feel like yeah, a little bit. There, there was there was a very very solid outplaying of set opponent. And the Mouse Silver hoodie on. Let's go. Mouse Mal. Silver now in winners finals. Mm -hmm. And for New York has kind of been a little scattered lately. The yeah. the density we saw at Zeno in the past. Not, not. This is not a knock at Zeno, but I just want to preface this. It's just because there's more locals available for players, so exactly. a lot of players will go to their one local out of convenience. Where Zeno was usually like the hotbed of like, especially mid-level talent, it's definitely yes. way more scattered now. I so agree. I'm, I'm happy to see some more unknown names coming out during this Arcadian. Oh yeah, of course. Because we, you know, I don't know if we typically see these players here, but I don't. I've, 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 I've not never seen, seen either of them. The up and comers that usually make top eights at Zeno, but just fall shy of like the top two, top three requirement. Because yep. you, you will get banned if you make a top two at a Zeno or an yes. Aeon or something like that. They're not here, but we do have some talent in the house. This is the side of winner semis that I was expecting to be crazier. We've got Steelix versus Inferno.